convoy of EVs drove across Europe. Electric cars from France, Slovenia, Belgium, Portugal and many more organised by the Global EV Alliance and EVA England to show that you can now drive thousands of miles and indeed kilometres without range anxiety or running out of charge. The three pillars of this journey were charging, batteries and government policies. Our journey begins in Essex, Braintree, at GridServe's fuel station of the future. Now, you can come here, charge your car, 30p per kilowatt hour, and go in and relax. There's a gym, there's meeting rooms, comfy chairs. It's really, really lovely. And I've just charged and it's taken me 20 minutes. You've got solar panels up here, solar panels over there. It's clean, there's no smell of diesel, no smell of petrol, no sand on the floor, no spillages. If this is the future, then I really like it. We need these all over the country. So the ambition is to enable anyone, anywhere, to drive any type of electric vehicle without any range or charging anxiety, and actually moreover, a better customer experience than they would get with petrol and diesel. I had conversations back in the day and people said, what if nobody turns up to charge? And I had to justify that to, to investors. And it used to really irritate me because I knew they would. <laughs> but it was, it was really difficult. But anyway, they don't ask that question anymore because obviously we've done it. Two thousand six hundred kilometers from Lisbon to Braintree. And uh, we keep going uh, north uh, till uh, Glasgow. Without any kind of problem, uh, we stop uh, to eat and the car stops to charge. It's so easy. <laughs> I used to have a 5 series BMW and a Maserati, which I've now swapped for my Jaguar I-Pace, and I would never look back to a normal convention combustion engine car, never again. It's more fun. It's just an all-round better car. Yay! Fantastic! <laughs> Our intrepid European EV drivers have left now and they're on their way to My Energy in Grimsby. I'm going to get into my electric car and drive up to the British Vault site in Northumberland. Now that's a whisker under five hours, but this is how far electric cars have come. But I know I'll get into that car and I will drive all that distance and not have any range anxiety, any problems, because there are lots and lots of charges and I will arrive there hopefully fresh, unruffled, without any range anxiety at all. See you there. Two hundred and eighty-seven miles later, we're approaching the British Vault site in Camis, Northumberland. I may have arrived fresh and unruffled, but to my shame, I was beaten by most of the European EV drivers. I stopped too long for lunch. This is the site of British Vault's new battery factory, which, when it's running at full capacity, will produce enough batteries every year for 300,000 electric cars. As soon as you try an electric car, you will never go back because it, it is so cool to drive an electric car. It is so easy. You can travel, you can, it, it's like you are on a flying carpet. As the humanity is really in danger, we, we don't want that Earth become like Mars, you know, the other planet. Uh, what the humanity did is, is incredible and we don't have to waste it. Colin, we are sitting in a Model X Tesla that's been driven by an intrepid European EV hub from Brussels. Mm. What's the symbolism of this? So this, this whole event with all these people coming on the way to COP in their EVs? And the main thing about it is you can do it. You know, I've, I've, I've been seeing people on LinkedIn saying, you can't do this, it doesn't work. Well, we're in a car with a guy who's come from Brussels. It's possible. And Poland and Slovenia. There's a Belgian car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so they've done this huge epic distance. They've used a charging network. What, what, and they're on to, 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 to Glasgow. What is the message we need to say to these politicians now? Get on with it. Just get on with it. And my other thing is, 
let the private sector lead. It's doing it now. It's rolling out the infrastructure. Then back up, one of the things that we really have to look at is we have to reskill everybody. We have to work with the universities. And if we want to be a true leader in this technology, we've really got to be serious about doing it and invest in it. So the message from GridServe, British Vault, My Energy, the Global EV Alliance and EVA England is for our governments to now do everything they can to make sure we collectively build an electrified future that our children and their children will be proud of. We owe it to the next generation.